Hi guys, my name is Tia, the comedian. I'm a master of ceremonies, stand-up comedian, and content producer. Has it affected the entertainment industry or the creative industry? Uh, basically, the entertainment industry is a very social industry, and that's uh, and that is where the the main impact comes from. As we're practicing, as we're currently practicing social distances due to COVID nineteen, of course, everything social uh, is is grossly affected, and the Nigerian entertainment industry or entertainment. Uh, creative industry uh, all over the world thrives on that social interaction. People coming to shows, people going for concerts, you know, people hanging out, people watching good movies, you know, so everything around the creative industry is socially oriented. And now uh, in the era of social distancing, obviously we are one of the worst hit currently, but I believe that it's only for a period of time you know, we will get over this, we will get through this, we will get over it, and then we will move on and take, hopefully take on the lessons that um, COVID-19 pandemic is bringing to the entire world. Uh, even when all this goes uh, goes uh, by people, will, it will still be a gradual process towards, you know, social events and their uh, large gatherings. It will be a long walk. It's not going to be uh, back to factory settings. So uh, definitely the creative industry is hard hit. Like I said, the comedy industry is very, uh, has been very, very um, hard hit, but I don't think that means that, you know, uh, the industry will die off after COVID-19. I also don't think that stand-up comedy as we know it uh, will will die a natural death. Uh, no, the comedy is huge. Comedy is vast, you know, from stand-up to radio, to sitcom, to stage, to movies, to uh, I mean, it's broad. Comedy is comedy is huge. So, uh, stand up is an uh, is an arm of of comedy. After COVID nineteen, will people still go to comedy shows? Hell yeah, people will go to comedy shows. But how they go to the comedy shows, how we even set up the comedy shows, is what will now be different. Because I see a lot of people taking very serious. Um, taking seriously the issue of uh, social distancing so the way we normally would cramp up the audience might not be the way to go anymore you know it might be you know i mean there would definitely be some adjustments that we would make also uh the five thousand ten thousand cons comedy concerts is that still feasible that might not be feasible anymore it might be smaller pockets small type events small theaters manageable numbers you know that we will be doing so i don't think that uh, stand-up comedy uh, will will die no it, it it definitely can't it definitely won't it's just going to affect how we run our concerts and shows but uh, obviously it's not going to kill anything even in america the city of los angeles they've canceled all major events for the year 2020 but whenever they open it up you can be rest assured that safety precautions will be put in place but the show definitely must go on as we say in entertainment <music> now find ways to structure our businesses appropriately like all these um like like uh, all these spin-offs from covid-19 where they are giving entrepreneurs you know grants for businesses how many of us have been able to structure our businesses to the level where we can actually access those grants as creatives you know we, those are the things that we need to look at post covid-19 <music> one or two lessons from COVID-19, which is uh, which is very, very critical for us moving forward. Uh, a fundamental lesson is that our savings culture, we need to really improve on our saving culture as people, as creatives for the rainy day. We always tell ourselves, say for the rainy day, uh, but this is a major rainy 
reigning time. How many of us have saved for this period, you know? So uh, we all need to look at that. Also, we need to also look at how we do business, how we actually do business. Most of us run our business based on charity, on compassion, on sentiment. We have too much stuff that we are supposed to have as a proper business. Or, you know, we just bring on so many angers on. Now you have to cater for feeding and, you know, taking care of all that mouth. Is it, you know, is it, is, is it something that is practicable for a well-structured business? We need to look at that as well. Mm -hmm.